I've been asked to speak something about uh, the importance of the holy name that, of course, uh, I have to put a disclaimer here that I'm actually not practicing most of these points that I'm going to speak, but these are some of the realizations or some of the points that I want to share with some devotees. Uh, one thing is about the importance of the holy name is uh, uh, we can actually observe that the holy name contains all the nine uh, processes of devotional service. The nine processes are Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana, Vandana, Archana, Dasya, Sakya, Pada, uh, Pada Sevanam and uh, Atmani Vedanam. So if you see, uh, Shravana is already included in the holy name. When you chant the holy name, you are actually hearing it. So Shravana is included. There is Smarana, you are uh, actually thinking of the holy name. You are, um, there is Kirtana because you are actually chanting the holy name. There is Vandana because you are chanting in a prayerful mood. So the, the Vandana or prayers are already included when you are actually chanting the holy name. And this Archana, in the age of Kali Yuga, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is worshipped by chanting the holy name. This is the statement from Srimad Bhagavatam, from Srila Prabhupada's purports. So Archana is also included in this process. And as a, um, uh, we are always chanting the holy name, uh, focusing on the Lord's lotus feet. Generally, Bhakti Vinod Thakur says that you should actually hold Radha Raman's lotus feet. So Pada Sevana is actually included. J -j Japa, when you are holding, it's like holding Radha Raman's lotus feet. So Pada Sevana is included in that. There is Sakyam and Dasyam, which are the results of chanting the holy name. And the whole purpose is to surrender completely, uh, which is uh, actually elaborated in the Shikshashtakam. Um, uh, which is Atma Nivedana, basically, the last point of the Shikshashtakam. So, if all the nine processes is included in this one process, that is the Nam Sankirtan, the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Second uh, uh, important point here is that um, there are different Acharyas who have come over the ages and they have given us different processes, like Ramanuja Acharya has given us the process of Vaishnav Seva, Sukadeva Goswami has given us Srimad Bhagavatam, Veda Vyas has given us so many literatures. But one thing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given us, it is the holy name and all Acharyas, everybody in the Gaudi Sampradaya, they say that Namo Mahavadanyaya, you are the most munificent incarnation among all the incarnations, you are the most munificent incarnation. Why? Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave us something that is most precious, that is Golokira Premadana, that is holy name. Bhagavatam was there before Lord Chaitanya's advent, Vaishnava Seva was there before Lord Chaitanya's advent, but the, the most important, the essence of everything was given by Lord Chaitanya and that's why he is known as Namo Mahavadhyanya by Rupa Goswami because he gave the process of holy name. His only sole purpose of coming to this world was you know giving us the holy name, chanting the holy name. So if you see in Satya Yuga, the Yuga Dharma was meditation. So Mahavishnu used to just uh, basically sleep and all the devotees used to chant, uh, used to meditate basically and then they used to by themselves, by their own endeavors they used to go to Vaikuntha. So Lord didn't have to do any special endeavor to take them back to Vaikuntha. But in uh, Treta Yuga, he had to do more endeavor. The Lord had to come down. He had to come down occasionally as Yajna Purusha to accept the offerings of oblations given to him uh, during the Yajna. So he had to do more work. In Dwapar Yuga, the work was even more because he had to permanently reside in these temples as the deity. So he, he really had to work more. But in Kali Yuga, he literally dances on the tongues of the chanter. So this is, the, this is the most thing, this is the highest thing that we can expect from the Lord. And if you don't take this process of holy name, uh, the Lord cannot help us anymore. I mean, he can't do anything more than this. So this is the highest thing. So uh, uh, in the Brihad Naradiya Purana, we uh, understand that uh, Harinam is glorified as like, Harinam, 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 Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nastheva, 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 Gatir Anyata. So in Brihad Naradiya Puran, it, it says very clearly that Kalo Nastheva, it doesn't say that in the age of Kali, um, for spiritual realization, holy name is the only way. It says for everything, Kalo. For everything, for every problem in the age of Kali Yuga, there is no other way. For just for like, you know, if there is a, uh, there is a cow protection problem, ultimately by spreading the holy name, it, it will be solved actually. If there is a political problem, Harinam Eva Kevalam, there is no other way. So it doesn't actually uh, say that only for spiritual realization, the, you know, there is no other way. Actually, it broadly says that uh, for the age of Kali Yuga, there is no other way no other way, no other way, except the chanting of the holy name. So any problem on the macro level, on a micro level, on an economic level, on a pollution level, the only solution, the ultimate solution is only Harinam, only there is no other way. So basically that's one of the things. Um, and uh, now we'll come to the uh, process of chanting the holy name, how, 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 how we're supposed to chant the holy name. In this, uh, the example is given like the, of that of a drunken man. If you see a person who's addicted to intoxication, when everything goes very well in his life, 
he you know parties with intoxication he he takes shelter of the um, of the alcohol basically he just likes to you know enjoy 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 he drinks more but when everything goes bad in his life he takes more shelter of alcohol actually because he is so much addicted to alcohol that he takes more shelter he says i can i have no other way but i just have to take shelter of alcohol when everything goes bad so in the same way uh, one should be attracted or addicted to the holy name in such a way that when things go good then we should you know happily chant the holy name but when things go bad in our lives then we should really take shelter of the holy name just like a you know a drunkard will take shelter of an alcohol so now uh, ha, ha, uh, what are the importance of other processes does it mean that holy name is the only thing in this age what about the other processes there are nine other processes so is it is are those not important they are important of course the other processes are also important because without the supporting mechanism of the other processes it becomes very difficult to chant the holy name although the holy name is independent the other processes uh, form a sub supporting me uh, stratum they form a basic foundation for the holy name to uh, you know sus subsist like for example we have the medicine medicine is the main if a person is diseased the major thing that will actually help cure his disease is the medicine basically but uh, one the label but the instructions of the label or on the label of how to take the medicine is also important now bhagavatam is something like the instructions of the label the shastras are like the instructions of how you should take the medicine of the holy name and what offenses to be should be avoided what is the mood in which we should take the holy name so all these things are like the instructions of the label so those are also important without them we will not be able to properly take shelter of the holy name similarly the doctor is also important that is the spiritual master so without the spiritual master without the doctor it will be so difficult and the hospital is also very important that is the temple basically so the hospital provides a structure the mechanism by which we the chanting of the taking of the medicine becomes more easy and everybody else like you know the supports uh, the wards the nurses they are like the devotees who actually helping us so everything uh, is of importance it's not just the holy name because the holy name is the the crux is the most important thing and the other things form the very powerful support so uh, prabhupad always said uh, bhakti sadan sarasvati thakur said that you know book distribution is brihad mridanga so if you see what is a mridanga do the mridanga's only sole purpose is to follow um, the naam sankirtan is to assist the naam sankirtan that's the only sole purpose of the mridanga the mridanga doesn't do anything else so the brihad mridanga book distribution the whole purpose of that is to support the uh, propagation of the holy name all over the world basically which is the yuga dharma of this age and um, finally um, would like to say that if you don't keep this holy name going on then soon devotion will be gone thank you very much hari krishna